That's right, lads. I played with Alexander Bublik. Nico almost played with Denis Shapovalov. I met Karen Khachanov and uh, Andy Murray. Nico played a whole set with Elias Yimer and warmed up Anna Kalinska for her final in Dubai. I'm definitely missing out on something, but roll the animation. What's up, lads, and welcome back to Gladiator's Tribe. And as you all know, we're currently at the Dubai Duty Free ATP 500 event in Dubai. And as you can see be behind me is this beautiful, I'm not sure if it's a hotel or whatever it is. But anyways, there's just so much to cover in this episode that I was actually thinking of splitting in the, into two parts. But then I thought, listen, GLADS deserve a full on episode. They waited all week. So without further ado, oh no, actually no, GLADS, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell. And of course, um, don't forget to follow Gladiators Tribe on Instagram right here. And yes, now without further ado, let's get into it. What is this called in English? <laughs> this is the biggest eye in the world. It's called the Dubai eye. And and the way Dubai works is they build the biggest this, but you can't go on top because it got because it's so big that it started sinking. Uh, nothing new here. For those who don't know, winner is Grisha. But I mean, they stand for the same thing pretty much. The first one is, first one is across. Okay. Then you start free, please. Okay, perfect. Okay. The sun is hitting like no joke, guys. Vamos! Nico, thoughts? What, what's up? I'm very happy that my team is gonna reach the final. Uh, I will talk later with uh, Kalinskaya you know, to, to see how we prepare the match for, for tomorrow. Who's she gonna be playing? Paulini. The Italian. Italian Paulini. Paulini. Jasmine Paulini. Epa. Okay, Glads, if you're wondering what to get me for my birthday, this is a great gift. Porsche 911 Carrera 4S. If if you want to be generous, a, a GTS, but a, a 4S is, is enough. Okay, but tell some Even specifications of this car. So this is the 911 4, uh, Carrera 4S uh, 992. 450 horsepower, all wheel drive. It's a cabrio. I'm not into cabrios. I like coupes be better because they're more stiff, so they handle cornering better but you know and, and the paint the, the paint job isn't my favorite but uh, but it's good it's good i'd also get it with a lighter interior because it looks sexier but guys any porsche 911 i'm, I'm fine most demanded hitting partner in the wta tour is already on court getting ready to warm up kalinska with his broken socks let's go so once again, Nico was asked to warm up Anna Kalinska for the final of the Dubai Duty Free WTA 1000 event, the most important match potentially of her career that she ended up winning. In the final, Anna was facing the Italian player Paolini, who was another dark horse who nobody expected to end up playing the final of the tournament. And Anna Kalinska herself, for those who don't know, came from the qualifying. So she played like seven matches in a row. And that's quite an achievement, if you ask me. Nico was really hoping that he'd get an invitation to watch the final from Anna's box. Unfortunately, it didn't happen, but he still enjoyed the time spent with her on court. For all of the glads who are already writing angry comments saying Grisha you're wrong, Kalinske didn't win that final, 
I know guys, I was just trapping you. Let me know if you fell into that trap, but I guess I'll know by the comments. And uh, anyways, uh, the warm up went as usual. A few shots from the baseline, then some shots at the net and uh, some smashes. She would then ask Nico to go to the net himself so that she can practice the lower shots at a faster pace. And that's it, time for the break. And after the break and Nico being a gentleman, it's time to warm up serves, some returns, and uh, that's the end of the warm up. It's time for the match. Guys, okay, so how about this Lamborghini Huracan and this 911 GTS? Oh my God, guys, by the way, this is the car I want. This is the dream car for me. 911, 992 GTS, just so you know. Boys and girls, glad guess what just happened. Nico, Nico, who are you playing with? All right, guys, it's 11.30. They told, yeah, in 15 minutes, they told me, at 12, Shapovalov might need someone to train with. And I'm like, I will be there. So I just need to search, you know, through my... Very clean. My organized luggage, organized I know where luggage. everything is, you know. So, everything you see? Everything is in order. Exactly. I just wanted to find this. And um, I'm going to go to the club now. Hopefully, Shapovalov needs... All right, guys, that's right. I'm playing with Karin Hashanov, who has just won the title in Doha, so you know, he, he's already here, he won it yesterday and he already wants to practice playing on Central Court and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how, how that goes. We need to go there a little bit earlier to warm up and set up all the cameras and that's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's go! Glad I decided to take this quick break to remind you that you guys are absolute legends. Last video we asked for like 1000 likes, it's almost at 1.5 likes, so I thought, listen, Glad can do more than that. So guys, let's aim for 2K this time. I think we can do it, huh? Let's see. Grisha has something to say about the the new post of the ATP tour. Okay guys, so there's there's this this thing from 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 breakpoint. What do you mean he's so cute? Man, how can how can she even say that? Like you're dating the guy, you're dating Taylor, and you're like Oh yeah, your main competition and the guy you play against on court and might have to play in the nearest future. He's cute. I like him. What? And, and then you can obviously see that Taylor is feeling incredibly uncomfortable. He's not showing it, but like any guy wouldn't like that. And she's pretending like it's totally fine. Yeah, you know, he's cute. I'd... But I don't know why they are posting this again. They posted this like one month ago. And they post this again. I don't know. No, I don't. I don't. I don't blame ATP. They're trying to make a show. It's okay. It's 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 the purpose. That's that's where the money is coming from. But why would she say something like that? And, and I like Sinner. He's a great guy. I'm sure. But like, you know, nothing to do with him. All right, Nico. Are you ready for your practice with uh, Dennis Shapovalov? Yeah, I'm getting ready for my possible practice. Okay. He's got a one-handed back. And what are your thoughts on that? I'm just gonna play with a lot of effect, high, so he has to play like that. And then I will do uh, inside out to the other side and finishing volley. Ooh, that's it. That's it, baby. Done. Guys, please don't forget to put cream. The sun is hitting like Rublev's forehand. Okay, guys, now we will find out if I train with Shapovalov or not. If you had one shot, one opportunity. Eminem. To seize everything you ever wanted. In one How moment. are you? Good. Did you capture it? Oh, we just vomit on his head already. Mom spaghetti, he's nervous. Copyright, man. Do you know, I don't have a contract with Tennis Warehouse. I don't know what player has, you know, which brand. Nico doesn't know that Chapovalov plays with the owners. But if you wanna buy Chapovalov's clothing or racket, just go to Tennis Warehouse, guys. Yeah, guys, like always, the link to get anything tennis related is down in the description below, together. Together with our exclusive discount code that's gonna save yeah. you some cash, and, and that also helps the channel. So what are you gonna give me for promoting? Oh, there he is, see, Yonix. <laughs> is he with someone? Yeah, he's with someone, okay. Ah. Oh, no, 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 le vale, no, no. <laughs> I feel like the feeling you're experiencing right now is like, you know, catching your girlfriend coming back home with another guy. I haven't experienced that, thank God. But I feel like, 
Neither have like I, but I feel like it's a similar feeling. Yeah. Jesus. There. Turns out I know Dennis's coach. He's a great guy, actually. This guy? Great guy. He, we went to, uh, I went to a tournament in Mallorca on the Futures, and I was late to the airport, and I had to get a taxi. And they had a car, a rented car. And he saw me trying to catch a taxi, and he was like, we can bring you, we're going as well. So, mm -hmm. he, so he went a little earlier with his player a little bit for who, me. Who was his player? I don't remember. Who wants Chapovalov? I'm going to train with Grish. I mean, can you, can you compare that? It, no. 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 Grish, the rest. Exactly. But I'm hitting with Kachanov at five, so I want to feel the ball a little bit because, you know, Karen is no joke, so yeah, gonna hit a little bit with this boy. Hopefully, get to feel the ball decently well. So yes, we really wanted to clean up our tennis a little bit by, by playing with each other under no pressure and try to, you know, just get our technique on point. And uh, we ended up playing a super tie break in the end of this practice, which uh, this is actually the highlight of the whole super tie break, which I don't know if I want to spoil it for you or not. I won't spoil the, the details of who won this point, but I got to say that it's not the one who wins the battle, it's the one who wins the war. So yeah, <laughs> anyways. Привет! У меня гаситель там улетел под забором. Я подберу? Да, I'm gonna recover, guys. <laughs> and at this point of the super tie break, the door opened and uh, someone someone went into our court. And guess who it was? It was our good old friend, Borna Choric, who came to practice. He was gonna practice right after us. Actually, we didn't really have the court reserved, so yeah. Nico couldn't handle the pressure of his idol being on court, so he served a double fold on the match point. So I'm walking here, I turn around, and I find this guy. So there you go, Glads. This is the long-awaited practice with Alexander Bublik. I gotta say it was different from any other practices that I've had so far on the tournament and also considering last year as well because it was it was pretty much a circus and, and just drop shots all over the place, slices, uh, hitting the ball with the grip. And I have nothing against it. I know some people really criticize Bublik for being like that, but... I think uh, it's good to have a show sometimes. Everything doesn't have to be exactly followed by the rules and just, you know, by the book of tennis. It's sometimes it's okay to insert a little bit of funness into the game. His shots were actually very hard to handle at first because he doesn't just hit a flat forehand. He hits it so flat that it almost goes with like a side spin, which is very weird. I managed to handle the pace, but it was quite weird at first. Just, uh, you know, public playing with uh, Richard Bill on his left, uh, left uh, wrist. It's okay, just a uh, million dollars. No, not much. So Nico said that Bublik plays with a Richard Mill that is worth one million euros, which is not exactly the case. First of all, he plays with a Bianca Flying Torbjorn Grand Date that is worth uh, 65 and a half thousand Swiss francs, which is equal to about 75,000 US dollars. And uh, that's just a little bit less than a million, approximately 10 times less than a million. But you know, it's okay, Nico, you almost got it. Another surprising finalist, this time of the men's tournament in Dubai is Alexander Bublik from round one. Nobody expected him to make the final. For those who don't know, Bublik did reach the final of this tournament to absolutely everybody's surprise. I'm sure even his own. But yeah, it's it's interesting to see a different player in the final, I guess. Out. My 
Han is getting tired. That's what she said. Guys, what do you think of the that's what she said jokes? Because I've made a few of them, but Grisha, I think, uh, never put them on the, you know, on the videos. What do you guys think? Gladiators. Time for some slice to slice rallies. Slice isn't exactly my favorite shot, not one I like to use a lot and not one I really dominate, but I did a decent job and now of course it's time for some more drop shots, which yeah, let's just say that he probably did more drop shots than than I did forehands in this particular practice, but <laughs> I guess. Venga, va corre alguna de ellas, filete. Whatever flows his boat, right? The great public. Run into these drop shots. Bro, you've only run to three drop shots. Should I cross it? Yeah, Guys, I'll run to every single drop shot. Yeah, yeah, man. We then, of course, did the usual forehand to forehand cross court rallies. And then it was time for the backhands, which weren't really backhands. We, again, pretty much all the time, were doing slice to slice. And uh, I gotta say that holding the cross courts against the pros, including Bublik, was way easier than than just uh, doing the rallies in the middle. Lamborghini Aventador, Ferrari FA Tributo, Rolls Royce Dawn, Lamborghini Huracan STO. Wow. We are going to the center court now. Well, maybe not directly, although. You wanna get know. a coffee, man? I mean, last time, last time we went directly to the center court after entering, uh, Nico didn't end up playing with Chapovalo. <laughs> Brad, imagine. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me, man. I man, really imagine I come it. and he's like, sorry, man, I found someone else. Yeah. Now, I'll, I'll, I'm taking said. a flight to Barcelona. I'm getting a little... <sighs> it doesn't matter. All right, guys. No, please, I'm, please. I'm what actually pumped. Getting, I'm pumped. You're pumped. For this practice, because, man, it's, it's current. Like, what the hell, you know? And, yeah, right now we're going to get some, uh, a little bit of, you know, some coffee in the, in the players' lounge, because the, the ATP. Uh, the ATP, of what? And then warm up a little bit, just a bit, because I already played with Nico today. And then we're... It's go time. It's go time, baby. We didn't Man, see it, but Manarino was right, right there. there. Huh? Yeah, we said the same thing. How you doing? Up, bro? All good? good. Uh, Vamos. Cheers, man. Yeah. It's just... Hey, mon pils. On a block. Oh. <laughs> uh, I think he took a big record and he shot at it. Hey, yo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Guys, we've got some competition. Mon pils is, seems like he's also doing a vlog. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I'm sure we'll get more views, right? <laughs> So yeah, guys, just ran, you know, casually just walking chilling, around, man. Manor, you know, Montpies. What else do you want to see? Do you want to see, uh... Do you want to see Hachanov? You'll see him now. <laughs> do you want to see Daniel? Yeah. Follow me. Okay. I'm following you. <laughs> I don't know if he's here. I want to see Rubli. 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 I want to see Rubli. Hello. 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 Hey. Hello. Oh, wow. Hey, pa. What's up, man? How are you feeling, man? Feeling Good? Good. Yeah. Uh, Sasha? Digo Sasha. <laughs> Grisha? <laughs> what a nice hoodie, no? What? Can you just let me see what it says oh, yeah, there? How are you? All good? Hello. Oh. 
Can you stop moving it because... <laughs> yeah, wow, man. Guys, it's not on sale yet, but I'm, I'm, I swear <gasps> I'm working on it. The big boss. The big, big boss. Ah, you're the big boss. <laughs> look how big this guy is. But look at you, man. Look how big he is, bro. No, look who's coming. Kevin, привет. With you, we're playing now. Hello. How are you? So, we're in the center. We're in the center, yes. Okay. And where did you lose the clothes? I forgot. Oh, man. Thank you. Ooh, hitting partner. <laughs> All right, guys, I was walking here and they say, Ruble, Ruble, hello, Ruble. I'm like, bro, bro, I'm Nico. That's what I said, Fiat, yeah. Hello. Who's playing, man? Hurkacz. Just Hurkacz playing? Who's Hurkacz? I don't know, like the third seed here? What a seed. He reached Hurkacz. Omer just texted me that Kachino found another player to hit with. As in, not a hitting partner, like a player, you know? Man, yeah, imagine I come it. and he's like, sorry man, I found someone else. Yeah. Okay, guys, guys, insane. So we almost played with Shapovalov and we almost played with Kashinov. Whoa! All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this vlog number five from Dubai. There's a lot more to come. And uh, as you probably already know from my Instagram, I managed to play with Daniel Medvedev. So definitely stay tuned for that. And there's just a lot more to come. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.